Hey everyone, it is Stephanie here with Infernal TV, and I'm here right now with Chris Reifert. So how are you? I'm doing pretty damn all right. How's it going there? I'm doing pretty damn all right myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right, so well, Seven Survival just celebrated its 30th year anniversary, so do you plan on doing anything special in celebration of the anniversary, or...? No, not really. I, you know what, I didn't even realize it was the 30th anniversary until I saw someone saying something about it, so now I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no, we, we didn't plan anything, I mean... Usually when we play live, we play a bunch of stuff off that album anyway, so um, we're always keeping that stuff out there. Uh, now, no, we're kind of just focusing on some some new stuff right now and happy that people still like that album after all these years. Oh, that's one of my favorite autopsy albums, so I'm definitely oh, one you. of <laughs> I'm definitely one of those who, you know, was a little stoked about the anniversary. All right, oh, well. Cool. <laughs> of course. Well, let's go into some of the new um, stuff you're working on, because not only how did I see on Autopsy's Facebook page you're working on new Autopsy, but also new Violation Wound, and you also have the split uh, with Siege of Powers. So, I mean, just go on and say whatever, um, I guess, what you're working on, or what exactly you're working on, I should say. Um, kind of going to be a studio hermit this year it looks like no. uh, some, to some extent not really but um, yeah just lots of new stuff um, you know I'm trying to keep busy I'm not good at anything else so I like to make a lot of uh, racket you know um, so yeah I'm recording a new Pain and Doll album in June which will be pretty cool going back out to New Jersey to do that with our buddy Tom and uh, going to get home and Immediately, the next month, record the new Violation Moon album. That would be pretty sick. And then um, we've been working in the meantime on the autopsy material. So uh, we're kind of taking our time with that. We want to do it right. To get, you know, really, really work the weight. Um, and then we hope to record that sometime later in the year. We're not sure exactly when, but, but uh, we're definitely working on some good stuff. Um, and then Siege of Power, last I heard, we were going to do some some split, but I haven't heard about that lately, so I'm kind of just hanging out, waiting for the news on that. But, yeah, so lots of stuff to, uh, lots of stuff to do. Nice, and um, I do want to specifically ask about... Um, well, I'll um, ask about autopsy in the next question, but I want to specifically ask about Violation Wound because I think the newest release that you have with that, I mean, it's more raw because that band's always been, I mean, of you know, I can hear some of the um, the more extreme, like the death metal influences, but, al but it always sounded more like punk to me. But I think with this new oh, release, yeah. yeah, you went a little bit more uh, aggressive. So do you think that you'll continue taking that approach, you know, with the new Violation Wound album, or...? It's kind of, yeah, kind of. I mean, it's sort of kind of more of the same, but also we're not afraid to, you know, make it a little more aggressive or... Or I mean, uh, I don't know. We kind of just go with go with our mood usually, but we have been, you know, hiking up the uh, aggression levels a little bit, I guess, compared to some of our early stuff, which is just like our early stuff is just basically punk rock, you know, and a little hardcore in there. And you know, we I personally wanted to avoid being kind of like heavy at first, just to really separate ourselves from autopsy and everything else. And as uh, the years went by. Fuck it, we can throw a little heavy in there too, and you know, a little more brutal or whatever. But uh, I mean, we're not going to turn into like a, you know, like a grindcore band or anything like <laughs> that. You know, we still still want to keep it punk. But um, yeah, yeah, it's new stuff's kind of like the the last couple things you've heard. I would I would probably guess. Awesome, and then. Um, on the opposite end of the spectrum, because, and I, I mean, as an autopsy fan, I appreciate this, but I also think other autopsy fans appreciate the fact that you haven't strayed too far, uh, with your sounds, so, but everything is still very fresh, you know, and never, no two, sorry, no two autopsy so albums sound the same, so how do you come up with new ideas? Uh, well, that's a good question. I'm 
I'm not even sure. We just kind of know what we should sound like, I guess, and try and, uh, you know, when we write separately at home, try and really self-edit ourselves and kind of not really present anything to everyone else unless we know it's what we should sound like. Um, this, this album is kind of a trip because I, like for me, I had a bunch of songs I wrote last year to go towards a new album and listen to them a little bit later. I just kind of threw them all away and kind of wanted to start all over again fresh. And that was kind of a cool approach. I've never done that before. I've always just used, you know, for me, what I've had like sitting around ready to go and I've never kind of thrown away four or five songs and said, oh, I could do better than that. So definitely trying to do that this time. So that's, that's one of the ways to keep it exciting. Just, I don't know, really, really, uh, make it the best one we could possibly make at this point. But in terms of where, you know, sort of ideas come from and stuff like that, I have no idea. It's just, <laughs> just kind of, it's there, you know, just swimming around in the brain for some reason. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Um, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Psychiatry wouldn't pick apart too heavily. <laughs> well, I'm actually really interested in Painted Doll. How did that band come about? That, um, well, it's kind of autopsy related in a roundabout way. Um, autopsy was playing the uh, Housecore Horror Fest <laughs> in, was that 2015? And uh, uh, my now friend uh, Dave Hill was was uh, also playing at that at show. He was actually uh, filling in on guitar for Thor, of all things. And, um, and I knew who he was because... Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of a show called At Midnight that used to be on Comedy Central, but um, he used to be on that all the time. He's actually a stand-up comedian as well as a musician and a bunch of other things. So um, I ended up meeting him at that festival, and uh, we just kind of became friends, stayed in touch, and you know talked about music through emails and texts and all that stuff. And and uh, he would actually come out here to the Bay Area and do comedy shows and stuff like that. And so me and my wife would go and see him whenever he came out here. So, you know, just kind of like hanging out and talking about music and things like that. And, and I'm like, oh, well, we should maybe, maybe jam something, you know, see what happens. And it kind of just turned into this thing. And it's a challenge because he does live in uh, New York City and I'm over here. So practicing is almost impossible, but we, you know, make it happen once in a while. And, and uh, yeah, it's just been a lot of fun, but it just kind of came together in a weird way, but, but uh, I like it. It's, it's a really good time. Now, how do you come up with all these bands, or do you just jam with, you know, musicians and it all happens? Um, I mean, I don't usually set out to start a band or anything like that. It's something that just happens, like with Paint a Doll, it just kind of just kind of fell into place without, you know... A, a, you know, a big plan or anything like that. It kind of just fell together, you know. Um, and same with Violation Lou, and I just kind of got this idea, like, oh, I should do, a, you know, crazy punk thing, and you know, maybe make a record or something like that, just just for the hell of it. And then it turned into this thing. And, you know, six years later, we're still doing it. Um, Siege of Power, I, I kind of just fell into that one. They were already together musically, and they had a, a vocalist who couldn't stay in the band for whatever reason they just hit me up and I said yeah yeah that sounds cool you know to my friends so do that sounds cool but yeah I mean a lot of the times these things just sort of happen by accident or around I don't know morph into something from something else Awesome. Well, now I do want to ask about Scream Bloody Gore and some of the earlier demos that you've done, you know, whether it was with Death or other bands. Um, but overall, how did all of that frame you as the musician uh, you are today? Um, well, I mean, that was my first, you know, being on the first, uh, my first album. So that was exciting. And then just being, you know, the age I was at the time, that was I mean, looking back, it's kind of crazy, you know, being, you know, 17 and getting to play on that record and play songs that I already liked because I was a fan of Death before I ever thought I would get a chance to play in it, you know, so that was extra cool. Like, I got to play the 
around the unholy grave and all the songs that I liked from the demo, so that was awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just overall a killer experience and just made me want to just keep going and keep doing this stuff, even after my time in the band came and went. I, you know, still uh, hungry to do more, so it was great. Awesome, and um, I'm uh, as a musician, you're also not a one-trick pony, you know? Like, I think all fans, or all of your fans, they know that, you know, you're very versatile, and, uh, you know, whether it's with death metal, or whether it's some of the more punk influences, or uh, your material with painted dolls, so do you think it's important to kind of be able to spread, um, to kind of spread out and do different things? Uh, for me, it is, just because uh, it keeps things interesting for me. I mean, I still love, you know, playing the autopsy stuff, otherwise... You know, I'm sure we would all say the same thing. If we didn't love doing it, we wouldn't do it, you know? So, um, that's still fun, but also I I like to do uh, other stuff, like some, you know, some hardcore punk or some psychedelic rock or whatever. Just, you know, see, it's the thing with listening to music. For me, I don't listen to just, you know, metal or this or that or whatever. I'm all over the place, you know, musically. What I play kind of reflects that to some extent. Um, so, uh, yeah, it keeps it interesting. It's like, you know, kind of a palate cleanser once in a while or something. Awesome. And now, I know you don't tour with any of these bands, but are you expecting any live shows? You know, I mean, it seems like you're going to have a busy recording year, but, you know, maybe next year or... I'm sure there'll be some stuff, um, that'll happen. Uh, with there's, right now, there's no shows booked for any anybody um i mean something cool comes up and you know we'll, we'll do something but uh it just depends um but yeah well i don't know i'm struggling with an answer on this one because we don't have anything <laughs> oh no no problem well, well i'm sure we're, we're not done yet we'll definitely do more put it that way all right, and I'm sure, you know, everyone can see on your social media and, you know, whenever a show does get booked or all that. Oh, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll definitely keep people informed as soon as we know anything about anything. Awesome, and so now no matter what band you play with, every single album and every single thing you do is solid, so... Do you have any secrets, or like, or like you said in one of the previous questions, is it just these ideas float in your head and they just come out, and there's that? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just like to, I'm, like I said, I'm not good at anything else in life, so <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's nothing else I want to do really. So I just, you know, like to uh, play music, and you know, I like the whole thing, the writing and the recording, and the, you know, playing out and rehearsing and just hanging out with your friends and making noise and just everything that comes along with it it's just it's just cool you know if I ever get sick of it I'll try and find something else to do but I mean for me I guess that's the whole thing that makes it go is just enjoying it you know that's pretty pretty much it there's nothing else I want to do Awesome. And now here's the last question. You could just say whatever you want to the fans. You can promote, you know, all the new stuff you're doing, or you can even just say thanks or it's all, it's all on you. Oh, well, yeah, pretty much just thanks, you know, to you and whoever's uh, listening or reading this. I'm not sure what format it's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you know, I appreciate your people still liking uh, what I do and what, you know, bands I play and do, and it's awesome, so, you know, fucking cheers. Awesome, and everybody, thank you so much for listening to this interview. Um, Chris obviously has a lot of great things going on. You can expect new autopsy, new violation wound, new painted doll, and who knows, maybe you'll one of these bands or they will play live one day. But I guess you just have to keep up with all of well, all, all of these social media pages for all these bands, right? <laughs> oh yeah, it's all out there, you know. <laughs> all right, awesome. Thank you for listening, and stay metal.